next match. Introducing in the corner to my left from Kiev, Russia, weighing in at 272 pounds, Nikita Kalmikov. His opponent from Toronto, weighing in at 222 pounds, please welcome Ron Hutchison. A oh, young man here, Ron Hutchison, against the uh, other half of the tag team champions, Nikita Kalmakov, and the man who has the responsibility of trying to keep some law and order in the square circle. Of course, on anybody that would match your disposition and otherwise talents and so on, uh, I'm sure you'd like to go after that tag team There's only one thing that I disliked when I came back in. I saw it uh, last week in the Maritimes. When I look at that scapegoat uh, and that turncoat, uh, the Cuban assassin. Of course, you know, once you're a turncoat, you're a turncoat. And once you're a traitor, you're a traitor. And that's what I classify the Cuban assassin as, as nothing but a traitor. And a few weeks from now, you'll find out what I'm talking about. But we're much superior than Cuba. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think he's going to last the season, especially with the likes of Bulldog Bob Brown around. And the only reason that he's been riding high and high and high is because he hasn't had the competition. Well, he's going to get the competition. And then before leaving, my time is very precious. I'd like to thank you for taking the opportunity of uh, listening to me, talking to me. And, of course, I do such a tremendous job of doing it. Well, congratulations, Mr. Brown. Uh, you have uh, exceeded all expectations and uh, are exactly as we uh, would have anticipated. Gary Maxwell joining us back at the, uh, the table, and we've got uh, one half of the tag team champions, Nikita Kalmakov. In against Ron Hutchinson, Ronnie Hutchinson, out of Toronto. And this young man is making quite a mark in professional wrestling. He's had uh, a great exposure, been out west. Uh, he's been to the United States overseas. And uh, I tell you, I've seen him a few years ago. And he was good then. And uh, he looks like he's even better right now. But of course, he's not having much of an opportunity against this man they call Nikita Kalmakov. One half, the uh, tag team champions here in Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling, an uppercut, and that'll straighten up your breakfast or dinner or supper or whatever else you might have had today. Bill Kalmikov uh, enjoys quite a uh, sizable advantage as far as weight is concerned. He's 50 pounds heavier than Ron Hutchinson, so one would have to think Hutchinson will have to... Uh, use the utmost of whatever speed and dexterity at his disposal in order to gain an advantage over this heavy set Russian who besides oh, being right there one two that's all sorry Ross. I was going to say Bill uh, besides besides enjoying like as I mentioned that tremendous weight advantage Kalmakov is also a very aggressive wrestler well you don't get to be the tag team champions unless you are and look at this as you were saying, you're noticing that weight advantage of 50 pounds, and it, uh, while it made some difference to Ron Hutchinson, certainly he was able to gain the leverage, but you can see the difference in weight there. Of course, one thing that uh, professional wrestling is all about, even amateur wrestling, you've got weight differentials, but when it comes right down to it, you administer the holes, and uh, you take a man down to size pretty quick. But Ron Hutchinson having his problems now against one half the tag team champions Nikita Kalmakov and uh, whip toss into the rope up and down for the body slam and he went down with him one two and no sir no sir well we've got the spoiler over there claiming the referee doesn't know how to count but I think Ron uh, Gauguin has been uh, able to count one two three a long time ago and We've got uh, Ron Hutchinson and Nikita Kalmakas in this match on Atlantic uh, Grand Prix Wrestling today. Ronnie Hutchinson coming out of Toronto, a hip toss and leg take down by Kalmakas. And he's showing you some dexterity and speed there in that maneuver. Bill Kalmakas uh, hails from the uh, Kiev area of the Soviet Union. And of course, that part of the country has been in the news lately. He have not too far from the site of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, and I know Kalmakov is somewhat concerned over the fate of some of his relatives back in the Soviet Union. 
could possibly inspire him to even greater feats oh, here in Atlantic possible. Canada. Um, Armbar takedown. Oh, some nice leverage maneuvers there by Ron Hutchinson. Well, concur with your comments uh, completely, Gar. And of course, uh, uh, Nikita Kalmakov, you you have to discern what is uh, what is diplomacy and and what is secrecy, and you have to try to weigh every word that comes out. But, uh, I guess when you learn of uh, the individual, you can judge for yourselves uh, what you think of this man called Nikita Kalmakov. Head scissors on Ronnie Hutchinson out of Toronto. This match on today's card of Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. Standing off to the side in the wings and watching what's happening here in our studio is the other half of the tag team champions, the Spoiler. Spoiler and Nikita Kalmakov. Now there's an unlikely combination if you ever saw one, but there it is. They are the tag team champions, and Ronnie Hutchinson's out, and he's got a headlock. Besides giving away weight, uh, Gary's also giving away some uh, height advantage, too, and that, of course, makes a problem. One, two, three, that's it. That's all she wrote. Nikita Kalmakov was going to try to inflict more punishment on his opponent, Ronnie Hutchinson, but and now the spoiler's in to do that. And there they're teaming up to show you exactly how they became the tag team champions. Well, the victor in this match at 4 minutes, 55 seconds, Nikita Kalmakov, one half the tag team champion. We're back with more Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling in just a moment.